one. The worm's getting close to a hole. That, that, <laughs> that's, that's the name. Alien hole, a hole. Alien hole. Um, I'm really nervous about his position, actually. Should build a fence. I don't know. Is yeah, it, yeah. Is it, can I buy one, maybe? But the, the problem is, always, when you put down like a new city like this, you just don't have any production. It just takes ages to get your first building out. Yep. Um, Especially when it's an outpost at the start. Like so that. one option is to some some uh, in intranational trade. Get a trade route going from Alien Hive to... Actually, he can't do that. There's miasma in the way. Right, you'd have to get that out of the way. You could do oh, a... Oh, miasma? You could do a naval? No, nope, that's not on the coast. Miasma's actually... Because I, I put the trade route down, and I was like, why can't I trade with Alien Hole? Right. Ah. So when you select to create a trade route, you see those red circles all over the map? Mm. Those are showing you where the trade route is blocked because of miasma. I um, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty penned in with miasma, actually. But that's you probably can, why... You can get a worker to clear it if you have, um, if you have the tech to do so. Or, I think I yeah. do. Or yeah. you can put a the miasmic repulsor satellite over that and it'll clear the miasma for you. Or you can actually get a tech that makes your trade, or tech or virtue, I could, um, that'll make your trade units immune to miasma and then they'll go right through it. I think I did that. It was a quest. Decisions, decisions. I don't think I've got that quest yet. Yeah, it's a, it's a building quest. I, I think it's a building quest because you either get, get to decide whether you want them to be immune to miasma or for aliens to ignore them, right? Yeah, I think it's the... Um, the quest for the ultrasonic fence. So, which... The, it seems like there's a lot less wonders than in Civ. So, I guess they're a lot more important, or or less important, or what? There, Actually, I think there's there's more. Well, as compared to the original catalogue of Vanilla Civ. Maybe, yeah. With the expansions. I'm not, I'm, obviously, sure I'm no. thinking of the expansions. But. Yeah, yeah. So, they're, um, they're different in this game, right? They're... Well, they're not based on historical structures. Yeah. But they um, they operate more like super buildings, right? Um, so they're ways to make your cities much more specialized, since uh, they, they still obey the one rules where there's only one allowed in the world. But because the tech web is you know web shaped and you can't ever necessarily rely that all players will get the same text in the same order, mm -hmm. you could be the only one with the access to that particular wonder. So uh, so by that token, they're they've been a, they're a little bit weaker than wonders in Civ Five because they they represent you kind of getting the best option that there is for a particular play style for a particular city. Yeah. So um, one of the, uh, one of the uh, some of the early wonders are like the Master Control and Panopticon and the Stellar Codex and um, the, the Gene Vault. How are, do you actually see them on the um, tech tree? They look a lot like uh, the building icons, but they're just, they're ever so slightly different. Oh, is it, the, is it the smooth circles around them rather than, oh, okay, yeah, I see them. So the gene vault gives you 10% growth in all cities, food and culture. Yeah, so that is good. Okay. So anyway, the the way that you're meant to use the wonders is uh, when you find uh when you get to one that that is on a tech that you are otherwise going for, and you you pick a city that you want to be sort of the best in your in your co colony, the best in your nation at this particular thing: food, growth, production, science, city defense, whatever. Uh, that's that's where the wonder is good for. But a lot of the more powerful, long-term, far-reaching, it's a com uh, benefits come from a combination of wonders, affinity bonuses, and then virtue synergy bonuses. And then, to some extent, quests. Like Quests can give you unique um, buffs and bonuses for your buildings and cities that uh, you can only get through quest. So quests are quite an important thing to, to, to work towards then, are they? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't need to do every quest you come across. Uh, you definitely want to go for the ones that make sense for you, for your playstyle. But uh, if you you're, you're definitely going to be much more powerful if you complete them if you, yeah. you know, try to do them and pay attention than if you ignore them okay <clears throat> looking at the um the victory conditions so there's transcendence which i guess is is three high level texts from different corners of the the web that's the first part of it and then oh it's first part mm -hmm. yeah the all of the victories are presented as, as quests but you're only seeing the very first stage ah okay so that's I guess transcendence is like the science one. No, it's, uh, the five victory conditions in the game are actually three of them are the they relate to the three affinities. So mm -hmm. they're affinity devotion quests, and oh, right. transcendence is associated with harmony. Okay. And uh, promised land is uh, purity, and emancipation is uh, supremacy. Right. And then the other two quests or victory types are well, there's domination, which I'm sure you know. Yeah. And uh, contact, which is sort of the universal, closer to a science victory. Oh, okay, right. Sort of thing. So you got to find you start off by finding the pieces of the signal, right, to do the contact quest. And they're in the in the dig sites. There's there's three ways to get them. You can find them in progenitor ruins if you dig them up. Um, there's sort of a small chance of that. You can um, 
put a deep space telescope, which is a, uh, a pretty good chance. That's an orbital unit that um, it has some domestic benefits, but it's also other main purposes to further this quest. And then you can research uh, transcendental math, which is underneath computing, and get uh, the transcendental equation, which once you research will reveal part of the signal. And then you need to do two of the three to get to that, get through that stage. Okay. Yeah. This is quite a fun one to do there, actually. I like that the kind of victories are kind of uh, multi-steps. That seems like fun. I don't believe this. Twice now, that same siege worm has eaten a worker. <laughs> it's a hungry siege worm. He's greedy. He's greedy. It's not even a worker. It's just a piece of metal. <laughs> With Sigourney Weaver in it. Yeah, it's got um, a person in it, Shin. Drekken, Drekken. She's yeah. a person. Yeah, so you maybe can see it. <laughs> she, is, she is a person. A clone is still a person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you lost your station, Shin. It's gone. What? Which station? One that was near Alien Hive. Oh, which one was that? Just... Hakima. One that was really, really close to Alien Hive. Oh, yeah. I don't think you could trade with it because of the... Miasma. Oh, the miasma. Mm. Plasma. It's fine. Plasma. You can actually trade with them when they're quite far away, so it's not, not too bad. Yeah, there's no, actually, there's no distance limit on trade routes. Mm. It's just, you know, the longer it goes, the further it has to travel across the land, the more likely it is to run into something that'll kill it. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Those aliens, like I said, will sort of destroy them half out of curiosity as much as anything. Those jacks. Well, they're, you know, they're <laughs> curious. They yeah. want to know. They want to know what you taste like. Whoa. <laughs> so if you go, like, up really into, into Harmony, can you be, like, friends with the aliens? Or Yes, you can. In fact, that's a really fun way to play. We were describing it to Pyrian earlier. The um, Harmony... Harmony means harmony with the planet entirely. So that doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're always friends with the aliens. Like, a Harmony player can definitely find it to their advantage to strategically take out an alien nest or two when they right. want to expand. But it's easier to be on good terms with the aliens as a Harmony player. And, you know, the the advantages you get from Miasma means that you can move among them more easily. Yeah. But any player can, can operate friendly to the aliens. And the way you do it is if you avoid killing them and you allow their nests to exist inside your own territory. So pretty much you, you create a sanctuary, a haven, wherein their nests are safe and you don't let people come in and kill them then their opinion of you will improve, and eventually it'll prove to the point where they're friendly. And they're, the, you can tell how the aliens feel about you by their color of their unit flags. Right. Right. So if they go orange or red, they're hostile or very hostile. Ah. Uh. Right now they're, they're sort of pale green, which is neutral, and if they go blue, they're um, friendly. Oh, okay. So and, how do you actually make them go blue, then? Do you just, you just gotta have to ha be into harmony? You know, you, you got to have the, the nests active inside your territory for right. long enough. And they just, okay. the opinion will just kind of gradually arrive there. Oh, right. And when they're blue, they will not attack you, period. You can, you know, move around them. Every, they, they'll just sort of exist among you. You live in symbiosis. So if I built a city next to a nest, they, they'd they probably be hostile at first, but then they'd be more, yeah, you, more friendly if yeah. I don't attack them. Yeah, you, it's kind of like making friends with a, with a grumpy cat. Yeah. They, you're going to get scratched a few times, but eventually... <laughs> Everything's going to be cool. <laughs> okay, I like that. I kind of want to do that now, actually. That's the nearest nest to me. Yeah, I would, I would advise not building right on top of no, the nest. Because no. <laughs> they'll probably take alarm. <laughs> There's an alien hole just, just south of you, actually. Oh, okay, I'll go, and, I'll go and put it next to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right on top of it. So if I build, like, um, like maybe two hexes away or something and then, and then spread onto it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right. Do AIs in this have personality? I mean, much like in the other civs where you get warmonger civs, is that still 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 a thing? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, the Brazilians. <laughs> right. Uh, the the leaders always have to be kind of a heuristic for our player uh, to make decisions. So if you're if you're next to Montezuma, you kind of have an idea of how to deal with them. And we have similar personalities with our leaders, but they are more. Um, we invented them, so you, you can't just sort of fall back on the historical context to, mm. to kind of get that hint. Uh, but the other kind of neat aspect to leaders is that because of that seated start process, the selections you made before you played, um, that kind of customizes or spins the leader in an interesting way. So even if you play next to the same leader two games in a row, they may have chosen different aspects at that beginning stage. So they're always kind of this puzzle you have to figure out. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll get playing over and over again, you'll get kind of a general impression of, of their personalities and, and how they may react, or, you know, reading their their uh, information in the Civilpedia or, or um, things like that. Oh All my right. god, Siege Worm time. Here uh -oh. we go, friends. 
Are you attacking it? Are they attacking no, you? No, it, it's. I've been given a quest, and it's just chilling on the edge of my area, <laughs> threateningly. Take a pot shot. Hell no! I'm moving some. I've got some units. I'm going to move over there, and hopefully we'll be able to deal with this thing. Cashton's pretty big now, so if it dies to this flipping siege, I'm going to cry. What's <laughs> What's the pop? Oh, seven. If you um get a get an affinity upgrade, that'll be a lot easier. Yeah, Duncan, you're. Falling behind, sir. I know. I, Whoa! I need in the sissy. Yeah, where are you going to put it? You got any ideas? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, okay. Right. I'm not really sure. I wanted to put it where all these all these uh, stations are, but they were, I can't put it too close to them. Right. I think I might try to do the alien thing. If this worm comes any closer, we're going to have to pop it. It's a quest anyway. How do I find out what the reward is for a quest? Some quests don't give you hints as to what the rewards are. Usually only when there's a decision to be made do we give you, um, like a quest decision, do we give you hints okay. about the reward. I traded my life for my leg when I met the Great Worm. Now with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the Earth Drinker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We'll see. He's coming for it. The worm is coming for it. He's turned. The worm has turned. The worm hath turned. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to shoot it. I gotta get through this miasma every time I go out of my city. I'm gonna try and clear it with the repulsor. Can a worker clear miasma when it's not inside your city's territory? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. So you can go out there and, and make trade routes available and so on. Nice. I finally got third worker. It hasn't been eaten by a worm. So <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna try and clear up some of this vape. I mean, uh, miasma. <laughs> vape. <laughs> Oh, the worm is coming. I'm, I'm in big trouble. Is, is it a red worm? Is, mm, it, is it angry at you? It's green. Alien oh, so siege worm. It shouldn't attack you then, should it? Well, I shot it once. Oh. Because it moved closer. Well, you made it angry now. I did, but it was, you know, it's asking for trouble. Oh, now the bugs are coming. The bugs are coming. It moved <laughs> away. Well, you you spooked it a little bit. Sometimes they, um, sometimes they sort of become irrationally aggressive and will attack right away. But most of the time, if you shoot them when they're neutral they'll sort of t just take alarm and kind of flee. Okay. Would it flee towards and over possibly destroying my city? Yes. Oh. I, it, <laughs> it may not accidentally destroy the city, but it could decide that the best thing it, it can do to deal with the pain that it just felt was, <laughs> is, is to hurt you back. Oh, I'm not going to take the risk then. I don't want to lose my city. It may flee across your improvements, though. <laughs> oh, dear. We're unhappy. Unhappy? Yeah. Unhealthy. Unhealthy and unhappy. I'm building stuff, so hopefully that'll... Oh, so we're quite populous, and I haven't been building uh, happy units. Oh. Uh, those people living in that miasma, they... Does it make them sad? No, no. more miasma doesn't make uh, your cities more unhealthy, but okay. I'm just saying the population's growing and you're not really... Yeah. We're, we're trying to cope with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think sadness is a thing, though. In, 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 in the far future, we've just achieved this zen-like state where... Maybe. Simple things don't bother us. Yeah, we bought a clinic. That'll solve the problem. They <laughs> yeah. all had, uh, you know, certain diseases. There is a building <laughs> in the game called the Soma Distillery. Oh, nice. <laughs> which, if you're a fan of Aldous Huxley... Yeah, that's a nice reference. ...need no explanation. Next turn. My score is just not going up. I need to get another seat. Desperately. This is terrible. There's a lot of miasma as well. You had a pretty tough start with all them aliens. No, I didn't really do much to me, though. I'm just being bad, I think. <laughs> Construct generator. Can I? There we go. Clear miasma. Three turns. Miasma. Is it worth? It's definitely worth putting it on a coast, isn't it? If you if you haven't got a coastal city. He's just spraying some Febreze. <laughs> That's how you clear miasma. It'll work. Yeah. It's there fresh now. <laughs> Could I trade with Duncan? Sure. Well, if I wasn't at war with him. In fact, actually, uh, should we should we like kind of? Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs>